Cassandra. Welcome to Cooking with Cassandra. We are going to make some fun spooky treats for Halloween. Not really, but it's going to look pretty cool. Okay, this is what I call scary apple mouths because it's going to end up looking like a scary apple mouth. We're supposed to have like um, same parts, I think, water and sugar. And what you would normally do is you put it in the pan, you add, I think, like a, like a tablespoon of vanilla, you mix it together, it makes caramel. But since I screwed that up, we're going to melt Milky Way caramel apples. And we're just gonna dip apples in it, so let's see if that works. This might taste really weird. Maybe I'll add like, maybe we need to add salt. I'll give you a little background on myself, okay? So I'm from upstate New York, where in the fall, apples are prime. If you haven't been to upstate New York in the fall, that is a mistake on your part. You should definitely partake in that situation. Uh, my mother is a chef. You could never tell, obviously. But that's the whole point. I can't cook. And if you can't cook, then you should join me in learning how to. And that's what this show is about. All right, so let's go melt these babies, huh? Uh, we already have our caramel apple Milky Ways melting in the microwave. And what we're gonna do is you take an apple, have as many as you want if you're having a party. I mean, do as many as you want. You're gonna cut it in half. Don't pour it because you don't need to do that. Okay, and so you're gonna have a half like this. And with that half, you are going to cut it open a little bit. Start at the top. Make sure when you do this, you always have the blade away from you. So we are going to cut this open a little bit. Don't go all the way down, because we're going to fill this with the delicious chocolate. I'm gonna take this out. Just make sure that the blade isn't going towards your fingers because that's how you cut yourself. Luckily, if I cut myself, I know what to do because I'm an EMT, but I don't think everybody else is an EMT. We take the Milky Ways, nice and melted, in this bowl. That was hot. Ow. And we mix it up. It's gonna look a little weird because the caramel apples have like the little whiteness to it because the caramel. So don't be alarmed that it comes out looking a little bit like a, like a mud bucket. Okay, so you take it and you put it inside your apple. Make it nice and even. Meow, 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 meow. So yummy, it smells delicious. Okay. So we have it in there. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. Big rule, never lick your fingers, because that's disgusting, and I hate when people do it on the Food Network. It's really freaking gross and they serve it to their family. Like who does that? You could have gloves too. Okay, so here's this. Now, what you do next, are my almonds. Okay, grab almonds. I have vanilla almonds because they're freaking delicious. But if you don't like those, you can, you can pick any nut, you can pick any candy. You could do, I can show you two things actually that are kind of cool. So, you take your almond and you put them in your mouth. I'll do one here. So here's your mouth. It's a little scary apple mouth. And what you do is you put it in the refrigerator and you let it get a little cold because it's probably steaming hot right now. And then you serve it to your friends and family. So here's one more thing you can do with your scary fangs. There are some people who are fans of candy corn, then there are others who are not, aka Lori from PTV, but that's okay, because some people love candy corn, like me. So, we're going to put this back in here, your little moussaka mouth, and then let's take our candy corn. And let's do some things. Ooh. Gary. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. So here's your other version with candy corn. Kind of looks like spider fangs or maybe vampire fangs. Very simple. So let's put these babies in the fridge and let's make our apple cider, shall we?
Welcome back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make some apple cider with a little hint of cinnamon. Okay, so I've already cored some apples. You core it with a core, very inexpensive, slap a baby down. You cut these a little bit more than just like the normal core, just because if you have a dinky little blender like this, it'll explode. So just make the pieces a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm going to cut up one more because you never know. You never, never, never know. My mom will punch me in the face right now because I just put the blade towards my finger. Sorry, Mom. Okay. These babies up. I will throw them in the blender, but we're going to have to blend in the kitchen because my cord is too short. Sorry. No. Let's head over to the kitchen. Okay, let's do this. Let's put some in. Let's do a little test run to make sure that it doesn't explode. Because that would kind of suck, right? Let's try it. And pulse it. Don't just hold it down. Like, actually, like, press it a few times. Because if you just hold it down, it's not going to work. Okay, so I added a little bit of water just to liquidate a little bit more, and then we're going to add some honey to it. So let's just... Honey, 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 honey. Right, now let's put some honey in. Yeah. 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 Tester is Dan Rosensweet from interviewing Dan Rosensweet with Dan Rosensweet. So hopefully he likes our scary mouths. Okay, so here we are with Mr. Dan Rosensweet himself. Hi. Here and I am. Here he is. Yeah. Here he is. What do you got? Oh my. So, would you like to have um, fangs or do you want to have teeth? Uh, well, uh, neither one sounds uh, pleasant to chew on, neither fangs nor teeth. However, I see they're Definitely less fangs than teeth. I might have to go with that. Take is, it. Is that my? All right. Take a bite. Is that? Take a take a chopper. There's okay. Take a bite. Your they nails got, are they, painted. They are. Yes, they yes. are. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I I it was a tragic accident. Yeah. Okay. I just hit every one of my nails with a hammer, and now they turned that color. Wait, is this like a? Is there a stem in here? Nope. Okay, I guess it's just. Just, Even if there is, you just go for it. Yeah, right? I guess there's no... Oh. Mm. Oh, God. No. Looks like a piece of poop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, how does that taste, sir? Is this why I'm going to at the dentist? Are you trying to talk to me? Well, I can't talk to you, dentist, because there's a bunch of stuff in my face. Okay, so let's wait until he's done. No, Ooh. I'll take a bite myself, and then let's, let's, let's... Honesty is such a lonely word. Okay. I think your drool came on top of this too, so that's gonna be hard. Right. Well, it. Some people would pay much for that drool. Oh, there, there it goes. Well, how's that? Yeah. Maybe I went in a little too um. Too deep. Too deep. Yeah. That's not bad. No, that's no. It's this is a first time thing. Just letting you all know. If you thought that I knew what I was doing. Okay, guys. So we just had our teeth sunk into some more teeth. And now we are going to have the apple cider. Now, 21 and over or 18 and working at a place that serves alcohol, if you want to have a nice recipe, add some yeast to this and then whatever alcohol you want. And there you go, you got some hard cider, right? Mm. So you, you go first, sir. Not good. Um, so this. This is not hard. This is very. Not, oh, not, no, it's very much. Um, I meant li like. Loquacious. It is quite loquacious. Quite. Look at okay. Yeah, just just give it a little slurpy. Give it a little slurpy. Mm. You have to chew it a little bit. Yeah, it's like I can I can refresh myself and have a meal all at the same time. Mmm. Mm. That is that's pulpy. Actually, that's not bad. No, it's not. You too know what'd be good in that? Some honey whiskey would be phenomenal in that. We can't really show it to you. But once this is over, I'm going to have some myself. You know what I think, though? 
you I think you definitely um, shied away on the apple content of this. This is like... Shied away? What yeah, does that I know. mean? This could use more apple. No, there's so many apples. Mm. I thought um, candy corn could act as a nice garnish to the drink. Brilliant. Just put it on the rim like... Oh. 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 That, well, it sticks. Maybe if you... S Boom! How about that? Well, Cassandra, if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, then I'm set for at least two weeks. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Rosensweet. Well, thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we're back, our last thoughts. Da -da 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 -da. Inspirational thought for the end of our show. I want you to tell someone this. I want you to look someone in the eye and say this to them. I love you. I've loved you all along. And I miss you. I've been far away for far too long and I keep dreaming. You'll be with me and you'll never go. Stop breathing if I don't see you anymore. So far away. <laughs>